He's one of the sport's most respected players. An ATP World Tour veteran, Jako Niemannen is Finland's most successful ever tennis player. He's the only Finnish player to win an ATP World Tour title and to have reached the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam. He's been around for a, for a, for a long time, but he's just a solid player. He doesn't do anything to hurt himself. You've, you've always got to beat him. He's one of the players, actually, I love to play against because he's the old school. He runs around, defense and fights and defense and fights, and then sometimes he hits the A's and or back end winner. He really enjoys the court. You can see him playing. Uh, he's already after 30 uh, and he's still in form and he's still in shape, always uh, enjoying himself. Growing up in a nation hardly renowned for its tennis, Niemannen was fortunate to have people around him who saw his talent and then pushed his career in the right direction. I come from a small village and a smaller city and that time in, the, in that, uh, that city we had uh, a lot of uh, like older guys who were best in, uh, in Finland. I could practice with, uh, with them, we are good, good coaches and uh, yeah, I was lucky to have those older, older uh, guys to hit with. He is Finland's most successful ever player, but Niemannen has always been inspired by the support from his home country when out on the court. Never took any pressure from uh, from the media, or from the Finnish people, or from the crowd. If I if I sometimes felt pressure, it's uh, it's only because of my expectations. So I, I I know I'm the I'm the one who knows the knows best what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I, if that uh, if the people are positive about it, that's obviously just bonus. It's testament to Jarko's focus that he's still going strong at 33, in an era where you always need to play at your very best. Every year he's always got some top wins. This guy is the prototype of the school that the young generation should look up to. You're going to have a tough match, there's no easy points against him, he's going to grind, he moves well still, he's always keeps himself in great shape, he's never really been injured. One tournament taking place this week will always be special for Jarko. Auckland's Heineken Open was the scene of his first ever ATP World Tour title. When I won my first title in Auckland 2006, that, that was a really special moment because I had lost five finals before that and I, I knew I'm able to win a title, but I, I was so close many times, never could do it. And then finally when I, I, I made it, uh, I, I was, uh, that was a really, really big moment. But there is, there's a lot of uh, moments that I, I will always remember. Ever present on the ATP World Tour for 16 years, Jarko's given his all to the sport that's given him so much. Obviously the wins are, are nice and that's why you go out there to, to compete and try to win, but in the end this has been a really big uh, school of life. I think I learned a lot about myself. I think in the end that's what counts the most. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, it's all eyes on Australia as the first major of the year gets underway. And here come the young guns. We profile the players poised to break through in 2015. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.